Hello there, my name is Sonny Wilson. I'm the co-founder and strength conditioning coach at Boxing Science. These lower body exercises are called accentuated jumps. The reason why we use these jumps is because in our testing, we test a squat jump and a counter movement jump. And what we found is a low difference between the squat jump and counter movement jump, which suggests that boxers have low eccentric utilization. So they're not able to absorb that force coming down, dipping into the jump. Now the reason why is because boxers aren't really exposed to maximum strength work at an early age. And as well, a lot of coaches see the punch being explosive movement, so they do predominantly concentric exercises. When we're in the strength conditioning gym, we could look to improve eccentric strength through using like heavy squats or eccentric lifts. However, this can be quite problematic in a boxing camp because the eccentric strength work can leave an athlete sore and then this will affect their boxing and their conditioning performance. But also if you put into consideration where a boxer is looking to make weight, they're going to be in a calorie deficit, which can make an athlete really sore. So what we do at Boxing Science, we really look at improving eccentric utilisation through the use of plyometrics. The reason why we use plyometrics is because this is a great way to uh, teach our athletes how to absorb force and reproduce force through the stretch shortening cycle. We look to try and get them to improve their eccentric utilisation first by learning how to land properly. So we use uh, jumps such as like altitude landings and start breaking the movement down. But when our athlete becomes more advanced, we look to ways where we can increase the eccentric demand. And this is where accentuated jumps comes in. So accentuated jumps is where we increase uh, the eccentric demand on a jump by using either uh, weights or jumping from a height or using some bands as well. And what this does increases that eccentric demand, which will make our stretch shortening cycle more effective. This means that when we're throwing a punch, we're dipping down into the shot, throwing combinations, we're going to be able to produce a lot of force in a short amount of time. So what I've got here is two of these purple bands. I've got it quite slack at the moment, but you can either uh, make it a little bit looser or you can make it a little bit tighter, depending on the strength of your athlete. Use heavy dumbbells. Um, I've got 40, 35 kilos here. Just make sure that the dumbbells don't move as you're jumping up. So I'll show you a quick example. Okay, so on that first jump, it wasn't particularly hard for me to drive it up. So that's why I'm saying that the bands were a little bit slack. But as I'm getting to the top, that the band is kind of rebounding for me to come back down at a faster rate. So this is where the accentuation comes in, in terms of these jumps. Now to make it a little bit harder, which I'll show you now, you just try and get the uh, dumbbells lined up to create a little bit more tightness through the bands. <clears throat> Okay, so you can see there, the dumbbells spreading out the band a little bit more to make it a little bit tighter. So you're actually getting a bit of an adaptation from that first jump. As you go through these jumps, I'd say use this as your final one because it is a little bit difficult. And start off with the uh, bands pretty tight because as you come down, seeing this tighter variation, as I'm jumping up a little bit higher, when I'm coming down and it's going quite fast down, it's going to be hard for me to control. So do use slack, or if you are wanting it a little bit tighter, just go for a squat first rather than jump. So you just squat and then drop down. And that's encouraging that pre-counter movement, that hip extension, going, to that other, um, going into that preceding jump. 
That jump there as well, that first one with the bands, you actually work in two adaptations. On the first one, it's accommodating resistance. This will increase your length tension relationship, help you drive through the shots. This is something that I'll cover in a few videos time.